When Krishna was on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, he had seen the picture. He's just like a boy of twenty years, heart at most twenty-four years old. But at that time he had great great grandchildren. Therefore, Krishna is always you. Namajovana. These are the statements of Vedic literature. Addaita Yachuta Yanadi Ananta Rupam Adyam Purana Purisam Navajovana. Vedi Sudur Lava Adu Lava Asa Bhakto. So, to understand Krishna, simply if we read as a formality the Vedic literature, it will be very difficult to understand what is Krishna. Veda is Dullava. Although all the Vedas are meant for understanding Krishna. In the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Veda is the Sarvai Ahameva Vedya. Ahameva Vedya. What is the use of studying Vedas if you do not understand Krishna? Because the ultimate goal of education means to understand the Supreme Law, the Supreme Father, the Supreme Cause, as it is said in the Vedanta Sutra. Janmadha Sajataha, Athata Brahma Jignasa, Brahma Jignasa, to discuss about the Supreme, Absolute Truth, Brahma. What is that Brahma? Janmadha Sajataha. That Brahma means where from everything emanates. So science philosophy means to find out the ultimate cause of everything. So that we are getting from the Shastras, Vedic literature, that Krishna is the cause of all causes. Sarva karana karanam. Sarva karana karanam. Ishara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vigraha Anadi Radhi Govinda Sarva Karna Karna. Cause of all causes. Just like try to understand. I am, I am caused by my father. My father is caused by his father. He is caused by his father. His father go on searching. Then he will ultimately come to somebody. Who is the cause? But he has no cause. Anadi Radhi Govinda. I may be cause of my son, but I am also a uh, result of the cause, my father. But the Shastra says that Anadi Radhi, he is the original person, but he has no cause. That is Krishna. Therefore Krishna says that Janma Karma me Dibvam Ju Janati Tattva. The advent of Krishna, it is very important thing. We should try to understand Krishna, why he advents, why he comes on this material world. What is his business? What are his activities? If we simply try to understand Krishna, then what is the result? The result is takta deham punar janma naiti mami tiko. You get that immortality. The aim of life is to achieve immortality. Amritaya kalpa. So, in the advent of Krishna, we shall try to understand the philosophy of Krishna. 
His Excellency was speaking of peace. The peace formula is there, spoken by Krishna. What is that? Bhoktaram Jagvatabhasam Sarva Loka Mahesaram Sridam Sarva Bhutanam Gyatta Ma Shanti. If the politicians, diplomats, they are trying to establish peace in the world, the United Nation is there, and there are many other organizations, they are trying to have real peace and tranquility, no misunderstanding between man to man, nation to nation, but if that is not happening. That is not happening. The defect is that in the root is wrong. Everyone is thinking, it is my country, it is my family, it is my society, it is my property. This mind is illusion. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.